congestion has become a way of life for all of us. But a new study is out with just how much it costs us. Nine on your side, reporter Tom McKee live on your side with details of the report and solutions for the problem, Tom. Well, Clyde, this urban mobility report from Texas A&M says that commuters here spend 37 hours a year stuck in traffic, wasting 18 gallons of gasoline. The cost, $814 per commuter. Now that's nothing when you factor in the double whammy of gridlock and truck costs. Jack Stewart has driven for Fairfield's Osborne Trucking Company the past three years. This is typically what he sees behind the wheel on I-75, heavy congestion, especially near downtown. It's uh, very difficult. Uh, traffic's heavy, you know, usually down by uh, the bridge and, and uh, the exit areas near the bridge. And that puts a big dent in Stewart's daily routine. Well, on the average day, probably at least two hours a day. That adds up, according to the Texas A&M study. Greater Cincinnati trucking companies lose 3 million driver hours a year at a cost of $320 million. Osborne Trucking President Brad Osborne says he doesn't need a study to know that that puts a big dent in his bottom line. For the gridlock and the time stuck in traffic, it can cost us up to $400,000 a year in fuel, driver's time, and everything. So who pays for this time not traveled? We wind up having to pass it on to the consumer. It just it increases, increases our rates. Solutions include additional meters to better control interstate traffic flow, high occupancy vehicle lanes, and more timing of traffic lights. Big projects include replacing the Brent Spence Bridge, constructing the Martin Luther King Interchange on I-71, and building out the Eastern Corridor. There are lots of smaller things, too. Carpooling would be very important. Van pooling, where companies put large numbers of employees in vans. Also, bus rapid transit where people can use express bus to get from home to work in a very easy amount of time. Now the next best step in the big and the Brent Spence project is the value for money study. That's going to determine financing and how much of the tolling we're going to have to pay. Preliminary results are due in just a couple of weeks. We'll keep you posted. Tom McKee, not on your side, live downtown. All right, Tom, thanks. And in light of what Tom